Hi, this is Sean from Ruba Solutions. Welcome to the Google Apps Migration Guide. Let's go ahead and get started with the second step of the workshop, which is to create your Google Apps account. Head over to google.com forward slash apps, and you'll need to just click on the Google Apps for Business. And what we're going to do is actually uh, set up for the free trial. So free 30 days. You won't be billed or anything until the 31st day. So. We'll go ahead and start this. The first step is to enter in your domain name. And at this point, all we're doing is setting up an account. We aren't exchanging email or, or anything. Um, all of the things we're doing today is just going to be uh, confirmation oriented. So go ahead and continue with the sign up process. Um, enter in your uh, contact information into this uh, page here and click over. You'll want to make sure that you take a look at the terms and conditions and go ahead and proceed to the checkout process. On the checkout, uh, they're using, Google uses Google Checkout, and if you have a Google account, um, you can go ahead and use that, a Gmail account. Otherwise, you can um, enter in your email address, contact information, and such, and use um, that, that, that path. After you do that, you'll receive an email very similar to this with a link in it uh, to sign in to the administrator panel. But first, what you'll need to do is confirm your first administrator account. Highly recommend that you use admin at your domain or, you know, like I did Rubis at. This is a, the first user, and I always recommend that you have at least two users, even if you're a solopreneur. Go ahead and continue with the sign up process, and we're going to actually use the CNAME record for verification. It's the easiest, fastest way to get set up and all Google is doing is, is looking to make sure that you own this domain. So go ahead and grab this, copy this CNAME record. We're going to point it to google.com and we're going to switch over to the hosting provider here and uh, your host may look a little bit different but the important thing that you want to do is find the, the DNS settings because we're going to add a new CNAME and here we go my C names are, are here for this domain and I'm gonna slide over here and add the new C name that I just copied from the Google page there. You can go ahead and enter your alias name and the host name is gonna be google.com and TTL is how quickly the uh, uh, the refresh is being done so I'm gonna set this to half an hour and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save out and confirm that the new C name has been created so once I have gotten that information in we can go ahead and just validate that yep there's the success message and can close out of this and we'll see that yep there's the C name it's been created and uh, we can head back over to Google Apps to the admin page and uh, once we get there we're gonna just make sure that um, we click on I've completed the steps above and what that's gonna do is just tell Google Apps that yes go you can go check for this URL now and there's the setup guide okay we're into the admin panel we've created our first admin user and uh, nothing has been built so now it's time to get into the configuration of Google Apps. So the next step is configuring Google Apps. Uh, for right now, we're sort of in a good, good holding pattern, so we'll go ahead and break for now. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop an email on the blog or uh, next to the video, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. But until then, take care. We'll talk to you soon.